Weekly Astrology for April 17th. This week begins a, the cosmos series of several major planetary movements. To begin, we know the Sun enters Taurus this week on the 19th. Taurus is a fixed Earth sign and represents the slow, steadfast, and sturdy quality of the terra firma. This symbolizes the time when the Earth begins to thaw and the new shoots begin to emerge from the fertile soil. After 40 days and 40 nights, sound familiar? Venus is stationed direct in Pisces and will begin to its return to Aries over the next few weeks. This will provide all Aries with an extended period of time hosting the planet that symbolizes love and harmony. This period of time also represents an opportunity for Aries to stop and reconsider their options going forward and either stay the course or spin off in a new direction. Either way, the role of Venus will be noticeable. The same week, Mercury, also now in retrograde, spins backward into Aries again, where it will align with Uranus later in the month. This alignment may prove to be quite incendiary since Mercury and Uranus play well together and often deliver startling results. All that energy. Elsewhere in the, on the longer spectrum of the zodiac, we see the slow-moving Pluto also settle into a lengthy retrograde period that will last until September. Since Pluto's cycles affect generations of people, we may expect to see a reorganization of hierarchies that bring reconstruction to the stage after a period of deconstruction. This is Pluto's role, to tear down and rebuild. Finally, Mars enters into Gemini late in the week. Mars is all about action and rules both Aries and Scorpio. In this capacity, Mars can be quite impatient and bring about a sense of urgency to all and any discussions. We might witness a heightened interest in details that have been withheld as the words fly with an uncanny fervor. What is discovered under these highly active times? Do we finally come to understand what has occurred? Will the truth finally surface? Much remains uncertain, but the cosmos will conspire to bring these topics to light, undoubtedly. Listen each week to Turning the Wheel podcast on iTunes. Great guests, interesting topics, information that you can use. Contact me for writing, for reading rather, um, at my website, turningofthewheel.com or turningofthewheel.tv. I'm also on Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Reach out, get a reading, you won't regret it, and I'll talk to you all next week. Take care.